Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's a real human narrator! Dun 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 dun! People who have worked at the drive-thru, what's the weirdest thing you've seen in someone's car? Story 1. One time I was with my mom when she went through a drive-thru. The car stalled at the window and wouldn't start. I looked at her and said, so wait for the food and then push? She said yes. They came to the window with our order, we got everything situated, then I hopped out and started pushing the car. It was a big boat of an Oldsmobile, so I had to push it in a way that made it look like I was sitting on the back bumper. The looks on the faces of the people in the window as I passed by were pretty damn funny. We ended up going inside the restaurant to wait for someone to pick us up. Someone who was working the drive through told us we could wait there as long as we needed to and they'd be happy to get us cups for the soda fountain. They checked on us more than once and we were only there for maybe half an hour. I grew up in a family that often didn't have a vehicle. And when we did have one, it usually left us stranded on a regular basis. This was just frustrating inconvenience, and the folks working in the restaurant were so nice and felt so bad for us. We were just happy to have a ride on the way and a building to wait in. It's a relief to come across people who are willing to lend a hand when you're in a tough spot. I can only imagine the looks on the faces of the people in the drive through as you passed by pushing the car. Story 2. Had a guy consistently come through the drive through with his pee-pee out and showing the young girls running the windows. He would always order the same thing. Large, mellow, yellow, no ice, always on a Sunday, and always wearing military fatigues. Then he stopped showing up for a bit. We called him Private Peters as our little sign to call the cops if he showed up again. A month later, we get an order for a large, mellow, yellow, no ice. So I decided to take over the window because we had a 16-year-old running cash, and sure enough, he handed me his money with his pee-pee in his other hand. We convinced the car in front of him to stay in the lane, and we called the cops. He got suspicious and left, but they caught him and was charged. I'm sorry you and your co-workers had to deal with that kind of behavior from a customer. It's good to know that you took action and called the cops, though. That's not something anyone should have to put up with. Story 3. There was this woman that would come through and get a hot chocolate every day. Her name was Mary. Mary was an older gal in her 70s, drove an early 90s Lincoln, usually had some old tunes playing, and weighed 60 pounds, if that. She was always happy and so nice. I always give her drinks for free because it was always such a treat to see her, and she was just so nice. One other feature I remember is she always rocked suspenders and a random colored fedora every day. I think she reminded me of Ms. Frizzle after she retires. One day she comes through and orders her usual. I said, Mary? Why are you always in such a good mood? What's your secret? She smiles and waves me closer. I lean out the drive through window and she says, Really, really good pharmaceuticals. She winks at me, turns her radio up, and cruises out of the parking lot. Mary is my hero. What a character. It's always refreshing to come across someone who's unapologetically themselves and exudes joy and positivity. I'm glad she was a bright spot in your day and brought a smile to your face. Her response to your question about her good mood is absolutely hilarious. Good for her for having a sense of humor about it. Story 4. So we have two really crazy drive through stories. My family owns a franchise of a fast food chain. My brother is taking the drive through order. Lots of muffled talking as though it's a group of people trying to decide what to order, along with some shushing. Not unusual. Car pulls around to the window from the speaker. The trunk pops open and a guy jumps out and begins running like hell away. Four guys in the car jump out after him, tackle him in the street, throw him back in the trunk, and speed off. The other one wasn't so much what was in the car, but I was working drive through while a very large local parade that goes down the street in front of the restaurant was happening. Towards the end of the parade, a nice convertible comes crashing through the parking lot, taking out signs and the drive through menu board. Turns out they had stolen the donated car from the parade route and took it for a joyride through the parking lot. Story 5. A guy pulls up. I look in the back seat and there's a dude with all four fingers wedged up this lady's vagina. She was not wearing anything below the waist. I had to double look just to make sure I wasn't crazy and this is when the dude turned his head and gave me a dead stare to my eyes like he was trying to intimidate me. Very awkward, and I did not know how to act. Story 6. A woman drinking a tall boy of Budweiser. 
It was 5.30 in the morning at a Starbucks. There's also a guy that takes his three dogs for rides. They ride in buckled seats and wear goggles so the wind doesn't hurt their eyes. Edit to add. The lady drinking the beer was driving. Don't freaking drink and drive, guys. Story 7. I was working at a McDonald's drive through in a small town in Michigan. The truck goes through, pays, and pulls forward to get its meal. Then a chicken jumps out of the back. I yell for the next car in line to stop, but she looks confused and ends up running over the chicken. It's not dead, but it's a wreck. She looks at me, and we're both in tears. She says she has to. And I say, no. She puts it on reverse and backs over the chicken again. Another employee had to get a shovel and scoop up the dead chicken from the drive-thru. I hope she didn't lose her appetite for a Big Mac after that traumatic experience. As for the employee who had to scoop up the remains with a shovel, well, let's just say that's not exactly in the job description when you sign up to work at McDonald's. I guess this just goes to show that anything can happen in a small-town drive-thru. Even a chicken crossing the road or at least trying to. Story 8. There was this really cute blonde girl that would always come through the drive through naked on Saturday nights. Every now and then she would have another friend with her. We always knew it was her by the constant giggles coming from her car as she ordered. We always had weird customers, being it was the world's largest McDonald's located in Orlando, Florida. An order for 88 Big Macs or 120 cheeseburgers was not out of the ordinary, though. Story 9. This girl used to come through with, like, three dogs. I finally asked her, do you have to feed these beasts? And she explains that she just walks and grooms them. Well, one day she came through the drive-thru with, like, 15 dogs, and she screams through the intercom, my business finally took off, and got a bunch of chicken tacos for them. Come to think of it, I think she may have been trying to flirt with me. Damn. Well, it sounds like this girl really had a love for dogs. And chicken tacos. And hey, maybe she was trying to flirt with you with her newfound success in the dog grooming business. Who knows, maybe if you had offered her some extra sauce packets, things could have taken a romantic turn. Story 10. I worked at a Tim Hortons and once saw an old lady with like 50 cartons of eggs in her car. I made a joke saying, looks like you can make your own breakfast. And she got real straight-faced and said, oh honey, those aren't eggs. Still have zero clue what else you would store in egg cartons. Story 11. Two guys were hotboxing and decided to come to the drive-thru. They did not stop smoking even when they pulled up to the window. I swear, a cloud of smoke rolled out the window when they lowered it to pay. They offered me a hit, and I politely declined. Edit. For everyone asking, this was mid-Michigan in 2005-ish. Story 12. Had a drunk guy come through the drive-thru. A cop car was in line right behind him. Told the cops about the drunk guy. He was blitzed and was going to want to live someone. Cops said they knew as they were planning on pulling him over before he turned in and went to the drive-thru. They decided they were hungry and decided to get food too before pulling him over. They stayed at the back window and had us give them their food first so they could follow him out. Pulled him over in the parking lot. Was kind of entertaining. Well, I guess that's one way to catch a drunk driver. Just wait for them to go through the drive-thru. Story 13. I was working at the drive-thru at Burger King in a snowstorm. Driver orders a Coke with no ice. When I hand them the Coke, they empty it a bit, break off a couple icicles hanging from the car, put it in the Coke, and drive off without saying a word. Edit to add. Holy hell, what a way to wake up. Thank you. Story 14. These two ladies with tons of tattoos and cigarettes came through, got their two McChickens, and as they were pulling away, I saw there were balloons just crammed into the entire back half of the car, just filled to the brim with balloons. Another time, I was helping these two teen boys when I heard a quack from the back seat. That's the duck, one of them told me, followed by a honk from the back. And that's the goose. It's worth noting that they had just left a football game and come straight to the drive through so Lord only knows where the duck and goose were before that. Story 15. Not really weird, but... There was a very, very large woman, no judgment, who would come through covered in sweat. I assume because it was summer and she didn't have AC in her car. And she stored her money in her bra. So when she went to pay, you'd have to watch her pull soaking wet cash from between her boobs and accept it from her without flinching. 
It also made me laugh when people would come through in $500 cars with $2,000 sound systems. The woman found a creative way to store her money, although it does sound a bit uncomfortable for her and those who have to accept the cash from her. As for the people with the expensive sound systems and their cheap cars, it's funny how priorities can be so different from person to person. But hey, as long as they're enjoying their music, that's all that matters, right? Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and have a wonderful day. Story 16. A 50-year-old man with Down syndrome playing with his willy in the passenger seat while his aide picked up his meds. He made eye contact with me the entire time. Unfortunately, there's no climax to this story. No pun intended. Closed the window and didn't say a word. There's a time and a place for everything, but gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Story 17. Not seen, but I heard oral spicy time take place over the headset. It was a location open 24-7, so we had to reset the tills for 10 minutes every evening at 11 p.m., so people would just sit in their car and wait. Most people don't realize that we can hear everything. The speakers don't turn off while the vehicle is there. Story 18. Had a customer come through with a giant grandfather clock in the back seat. The thing was so huge it was sticking out the side window, which just so happened to be on the left side of the car which meant the dude couldn't get close enough to the window to reach his food and had to step out, cursing the whole time. Story 19. Dude had a full-on hanky-panky doll dressed up in his passenger seat. Sunglasses, dress, and even a hat. I couldn't even tell it was fake until I asked for their order. Coworker and I looked at each other simultaneously and we both said, Was that a hanky-panky doll? This is in a wealthy area of my city as well, so it was definitely a first. Story 20. There is one guy who drives a hearse. It was a car that ran well and he could afford it. So when a teenager pulls up to the window in his hearse, you get a little shocked. I also saw someone with a chicken, complete with a harness and leash. It was cute. Story 21. Not sure if it counts as something weird, but I found out after marring my wife that she would go to a certain Chick-fil-A location drive through almost every day before work. Turned out during the time she was going there, I was working there, and I ran the drive through five to six times a week and strictly in the mornings. So for about a year, I saw my wife almost every day before I even met her, and didn't realize it till after being with her for years. Edit. Marrying. I did not actually disfigure my wife, and this was not an admission of guilt. Marring did not occur on my behalf. She's just clumsy and fell. It's funny how sometimes life works in mysterious ways. It's amazing to think that you and your wife were in the same place at the same time for such a long time without even knowing it. Story 22. Ooh, finally I have something. I worked at a McDonald's in a small town in Michigan, thank two stoplights. And when the car pulled up to the front window... They had a whole baby kangaroo in their lap. I don't know where they got that from or why, but the closest zoo was two hours away. Story 23. This dude pulled up and his girlfriend or whatever was almost entirely naked on the seat next to him, sleeping. When he pulled up, he saw my shocked expression, pulled her thin jacket, the only thing on her body besides the seatbelt, to cover her nipple and asked for some ketchup. He was shockingly casual. Story 24. Only worked at the drive-thru for a year, but the weirdest thing I saw was an alpaca in the minivan. They asked at the window if they could order some apple slices for the alpaca. I just gave them two packs on the house. Story 25. I worked at a drive-thru at Arby's, and a DEA agent came through in his squad car. When he pulled up to the window and I handed him his food and he thanked me, turned around into the criminal holding area and screamed, Shut up before I break your nose! I was clearly mortified. Then he turned back to me and said, Just kidding, there's nobody back there. Laughed and drove off. Well, it looks like someone is a little too into their job. I mean, I get it, being a DEA agent can be pretty intense, but jeez, did he have to scare the drive through employee like that? Story 26. The entire car was filled with trash like legitimately up to the ceiling in the back seat and up to shoulder height in the passenger seat. I was so stunned I nearly forgot to give them their food. Story 27. Two guys naked on a bench seat. Driver made sure to tell me they weren't gay. Story 28. My gym teacher. 
drunk. He started eating the tacos at the drive through window. He was there for over five minutes just eating. I saw him the next day in school. We both acted like nothing happened. Story 29. Someone pulled a gun on my brother because the salsa containers weren't completely full. You can get as many as you want for no extra charge. Story 30. Someone threw a fish at me once. Didn't order anything. Just a drive-by fish attack. Story 31. This is a recent headline from Arizona, where I live. Man, 70, was arrested with the body of his dead wife in his car after a stunned worker at a Carl's Jr. drive-thru in Arizona spotted him wearing only his underpants with a naked corpse upside down in the passenger seat. Story 32. I used to see someone come through with a lifelike mannequin in their passenger seat. I asked him about it, and it turns out they did it to use the commuter lanes on the highway. You must have more than one person in the car or cop a fine. Story 33. Either the guy sitting with a dog in his passenger seat and a coyote and a deer chilling in the back, or the woman wearing just a bra. But that one is more traumatizing. Story 34. The driver had a comically large spicy toy in the passenger seat. He'd buckled it in and put a hat on it. Story 35. My little sister used to work at a local Wendy's. A woman came through the drive through one day with either a pet or a service animal. The animal happened to be a monkey. Story 36. Does a naked man with bags from Burger King and Taco Bell already count as a thing? Story 37. Some old dude getting manual spicy time and finished as I handed him the bag. Story 38. A car pulls up and all four people are just completely naked, just casually chilling. Story 39. I admit, I have gone through the drive through with sheep in my back seat. Story 40. Four-foot hookah, prepped and ready to go. Story 41. It was either the 12-year-old driving or the lady in a right-hand driving car. The fact she had the audacity to get mad at me because I couldn't reach her money. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.